Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to XMB Life. Ah, oh, gosh, it's, it's been a while since I've done a derma rolling video, so I thought I'd come on here today to do one. Um, it is past time. Um, I am now five months, almost six months postpartum, and now that my stomach's kind of gone in, I want to talk about that. So, you know, as you ladies know, after you have a baby, you end up getting that loose skin. Not everybody, some people do, some people don't. The ones who don't, they are absolutely blessed by all means. They are super, super blessed, but I'm not one of the ones that actually uh, is that lucky. <laughs> so, um, I'm here to do a drum rolling video. Um, you guys saw in my previous videos that I did after I had my daughter, how much it like cleared my skin up and made it look nice and flush and just, oh, it was just amazing. So now it's time to do it again. And I wanted to show you guys where I'm starting with because I had some people post in the comments, oh, if you use Photoshop, da da da. Um, I didn't do Photoshop. The only thing I did was lighten the video because literally like my bathroom's kind of dark and I didn't have a light at the time. So yeah. So let me show you guys what my stomach looks like before I get into it. This is what we're working with. I got all lights on me, so you guys can see. I'm definitely a little looser. I'm not as bad as I was with my daughter because I actually didn't get as many stretch marks and my skin's actually still pretty supple. You see my birthmark here. I'm sorry, my baby is fussing in the background, but you know, that comes with mommyhood. So what I wanna work on is this, this area again here and see if I can get it um, more toned up as i should say um so that i can do like a good comparison for you guys but this is what i am as of right now this is my side i still have some weight going on from the pregnancy so it is what it is but i wanted you guys to see what i'm working with and so you can see for yourselves the results all right now so i want to talk about the products that i use um this is called KOI Beauty. I really like this. I'm not sponsored by them in any kind of way whatsoever. So don't think I get any compensation for this. Although I probably should <laughs> from my last videos, but it's okay because I'm not money hungry and I want to do this to help other women out there who are having the same issue as me with having loose skin and stretch marks after their babies. So this is the one I use. I use a 2.0 needle. Um, <clears throat> I really like this one this one's like my favorite and it comes like when you take it out of here you know it's kind of a close I actually put it back in there after I sterilize it but this is what the roller looks like here I hope it'll focus so you can see all the little prickles that are on there um these are all the little needle heads I don't want to take it out now because it is sanitized and I wanted to um, I'm going to use it I sanitize it with a 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, this is basically rubbing alcohol. You can get this at Walmart, Target, wherever. Everywhere has rubbing alcohol. Um, but yeah, so what I do is after I do my derma rolling, you know, I cleanse my area with alcohol and then I pour it on this to give it another sterile san sanitation and I let it dry and then I roll it over my areas. And as you guys know from the previous videos, I do three strokes per area. So, I, you know, I go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I come and I do crisscross, applesauce, and then, you know, hit all the areas I missed. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you in real time so you guys can see, and I'm sorry if you hear my kids in the background, I do have a five and a half month old and a two and a half year old. So bear with me. Um, I will try my best to show you guys this. Oh yeah, one more thing. So I also use this um, anti-cellulite massage oil afterwards, but you guys can use a vitamin E oil. You can use vitamin C oil. Vitamin C oil is the best. That's what this is. Um, but I really, really like this. It has grapeseed oil, eucalyptus oil, lemon oil, grape fruit oil ratio blend. So it's kind of like a little citrusy, you know, aromatherapeutic, but yeah. So stay tuned um, and watch me work. <laughs> so first I'm gonna take and wipe off the area with rubbing alcohol. You wanna make sure your skin is very, very clean for this process. I took a shower, so I actually didn't 
really need to do this, but I just want to go the extra measure just because um, I'm all about that. You know what I'm saying? So I've already sterilized and sanitized this. So I'm going to get to starting this. So the first thing you want to do, kind of hold your skin taut. Let me make sure this is dry. Just make sure it's nice and dry. My hands are clean too. I did wash them. And I'm going to go in this direction all the way up. And then I'm going to go diagonal and diagonal. Okay. All right. So here we go. This actually doesn't take that long. So I'm doing it real time so you guys can say, see how long it actually takes because it really doesn't. The other videos, I kind of sped it up after my first or second one only because I wanted to be very thorough in the details of what I did so you guys could know what exactly it is and I'm doing and how long it took. So we're gonna roll here. You wanna apply pressure, so one, two, three. Next, one, two, three. And guys, this does not hurt. It's uncomfortable, yes. It's very prickly, but it does not hurt. So next level, one, two, three. You do wanna press firmly, one, two, three and so this area I kind of pull out and I kind of come to the side one two three one two three as well as this side one two three one two three and I want to get this be belly button again one two three now I'm going to go sideways with it as you can see I'm starting to get a little pink um, that just lets you know that I am using pressure and it is penetrating my skin so again I'm gonna come diagonal with it one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna come the other way with it. So I'm starting at the bottom. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so sorry about that. I had to pause it for just a second, but literally it was just five seconds. So that is done. And all I'm gonna do is take and pour some isopropyl alcohol over my blades to sterilize it again. And I'm gonna set it back in its case to let it air dry until it dries. But I'm gonna leave that out. I'm actually gonna cover it so I don't get any um, outside elements, you know, in the air um, into my blades here. So now I'm gonna take my, my lovely uh, cream here my cellulite oil and I'm going to do a couple pumps one two pumps in my hand so it's really not that much as you can see I'm going to rub it in my hands and then I'm going to just going to massage it on really really well and just try to hit those areas so just massage massage again guys I am five and a half months postpartum so I feel like I've done pretty decent I haven't uh, been on any kind of special diet or anything but you know so that's the process. So I hope my video was informative for you guys. Um, I do want to let you know that this process does help. Um, what it does is damage the skin so that the new cells in the skin can uh, grow and form like a smoother surface. So that is the purpose of doing this and it helps kind of diminish. It doesn't get rid of the stretch marks. I don't think it gets rid of it. You literally have to go to a doctor for that. And even at that, sometimes they still can't get it like 100%, that they can help. But I want you to know that it does not get rid of stretch marks, but it does help diminish the appearance of the stretch marks and it smooths out the skin and the collagen and just ma makes for a better, you know, surface for you. So, but yeah, so I will check back with you in one month because you guys know I do this once a month. I don't do it more than once a month and it's not going to be beneficial for you to do it more than once a month because it literally takes about 30 days for your skin to fully uh, rejuvenate after doing so. So once a month. Um, I don't recommend putting anything other than your oil on your belly afterwards because if you put another lotion on it may sting and you don't want to kind of cause any kind of irritation to your skin because your skin is very, it can be very sensitive whenever, especially whenever it's damaged and then open and exposed. Um, so make sure your clothes are clean too and um but yeah so definitely um oh yeah so i know someone's going to ask what kind of soap do i use um to shower i use dr bronner's lavender soap um or the rose hip one of the two those are my two favorite soaps i love how it makes my skin feel and i literally a little drop goes a long way and a little sponge whenever you clean but yeah so if you guys have any questions and if you need any tips or what to do, what not, um, feel free to link those in the comments below. 
I answer all of the questions that you may have or if you have comments or whatever the case may be. I just want to let you know I am here for you and I'm doing this for myself because I have to be first and I'm doing it for you guys as well so that you can try it. All right. On that note, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have an amazing day. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you soon. Bye.